One of these ends were kind of messed up already. I'm gonna crush that end right there. It's got a little bit of a flaw in it. Can't be having no pipe with a flaw in it. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Well, for all you do-it-yourself deer hunters out there, if you've ever wanted to build your own tower stand, ladder stand, sled blind, sled feeders, solar panel mounts, bow hangers, gear hangers, gun stands, camera stands, and a million other items that you could find useful uh, in the area of hunting, and you like to make it out of this EMT piping like I do, then you're going to need a pipe crimper. Today we're going to build one, so let's get busy. All right, guys, so for the last 10 years, I've broken about five shop vices trying to crimp pipe. It's just not an efficient way to do it. Basically, what I was doing was putting a leverage pipe on my vice handle and just wrenching down on it. And just over time, repetitive doing that, you're just going to break your vice. So it was time for me to stop, build a rig that I've been wanting to build for quite some time uh, to crimp anything from a half inch pipe up to a two inch pipe. And uh, so today we're going to build it. You can build it on a smaller scale. Uh, if you want. But let me explain why you need to crimp pipe for those who may still be watching the video who's wondering why you need to do this. Uh, those of you who are deer hunters already and you build your own stuff uh, out of EMT, you know why you need to crimp pipe. Um, and you're probably thinking there's got to be a better way because I'm doing it like you do it and that's on shop vice and it's slow and it's arduous and it takes forever. Or why you need to crimp pipe is because when you try to T-bone joints like this together, you get a big gap on the top and a big gap underneath that you have to fill in with welding wire and you burn extra gas. It's an inefficient process. You traumatize this whole area. Um, the pipe is, is thin to begin with and you make it even thinner by piling weld up on it, heating it up. And then by the time you're done, it's not a great weld. It's, it's, a, it's a compromised area. So the best way to do it is crimp the pipe lay it on there like that or in the middle or underneath however you want to do it and then lay a nice bead of weld across it and i'll show you what it looks like it looks just like this so nice bead of weld across it like that nice and simple it takes about two seconds to run out across there you don't overheat the pipe and boom it's there till the cows come home the other nice thing about uh crimping pipe is it gives you options on how to engineer and build your stands for example this would be a roof for me. So I'm um, building a tower stand, uh, a cab for a tower stand next week. And this is how, this is a truss and this is the eave. So tarps will lay on top and then flow over nicely like that. Keeps water from building up, pine straw from building up and all that um, along the bottom of your roof line. Um, the other thing you can do is weld it on the bottom for your, the floors of your tower stands or ground blinds and you've got your, your main frame going around with your uh, bracing welded underneath and then that creates a nice tray for your plywood to lay in uh, so it doesn't slide around in your ground blind. And then sometimes you just need to weld this pipe to the center of this to keep all your pipe level across whatever you're building. Um, and it just gives you many options. If you're building a, a ladder stand like I do, you know, here's your, your stand going up to the tree. Um, and here's your ladder rungs and you just, you know, build your steps up, welding them just like that. And uh, believe me, it's strong. So let's talk about my setup today. Uh, what I have is a 12 ton bottle jack. Now you don't need a 12 ton. I just have a 12 ton because you have to get into the bigger bottle jacks to be able to get the pneumatic option on it. And I wanted the pneumatic option because um, you just press a button. I've got my nice, quiet California air compressor up there. It's easy on the ears. Oh my gosh, my last compressor was a disaster. I still have the option to do the old style cranking and that would be even quicker than probably doing it with the old style shop vise. I have a design in my head of how I'm going to do this. I pre-cut everything. I didn't want to waste time in the video cutting and all that kind of stuff. Everything is pre-cut, ready to go. Um, and we are going to get started here building, um, but we're going to make us a nice pipe crimper that we can efficiently crimp some pipe. So the, the jack is sitting on, a, uh, I think it's a six or seven inch piece of uh, U channel, C channel, but these are going to ride on the side right there. And then, this is going to be the top right here. This is actually going to be the slide, the uh, block slide that's going to sit on top of the uh, um, piston. So 
you want this kind of wide because you don't want it to bind going up you want it to slide um, and so that one will pinch the pipe between this top one when it's all said and done now this uh, slide here will be uh, guided by these little um, braces that I'm going to put in here I'm just going to weld them inside of that and uh, that block on the back side and front side and then that way that block is just going to slide up and down within that uh, little channel what I'm going to do right now is get it all tacked together uh, make sure it's functioning and it's all good and then uh, we'll put the permanent glue on it and uh, then give it a, a good old test run all right so i am all done i had this thing all nice and tacked together we, i tested the slide everything was working perfectly uh, i went to take a break and then uh, preston came home from work he came out and looked at it and said hey man i see you're ready to weld it can i weld it and i was like have at it so he welded the entire thing for me and we are now ready uh, to fully uh, put this thing under the pressure test and uh, see what happens um, but before I, uh, I, I, we do that, I just want to share with you a couple of quick things. One is, one of the things I had in my mind that I didn't want to be bothered with with a bottle jack like that, like this, is this little key down here at the bottom. I didn't want to, the valve key. I didn't want to have to take pliers every time and reach that little screw and unscrew it and everything. I was like, I got to fix something really substantial for that. So the way you do that is you drill a hole on one side that's the same size as the little finger on your key and then you drill a groove uh, or cut a groove uh, with a high-speed grinder on the other side and then you take your uh, uh, the whole side and you slide it on and then it snaps on uh, to the little uh, screw so works out beautiful now all I have to do is just stick it on there and uh, push it down and then it fits perfectly just like that and it rides really good so real easy to do so let's test it um, i've got some pipe over here uh, i've got some half inch i've got some three quarter inch i've got inch and a quarter and then i've got the big two incher here and we're going to try uh, all of these and see how she runs so um, the other thing to think about if you get serious you build one of these and you want to uh, go the next step you could create a foot pedal uh, with this and it frees up both hands uh, to be able to deal with the pipe and the valve and that kind of thing. I'm gonna put on glasses, always good to put on safety glasses. And um, let's start with the half inch pipe, see how she, roll, she rolls. So got the gap already set in there, so we should be good. So uh, let's give it a run and see what happens. So I'm just going to turn my key down here, boom, it pops out, perfect. Look at that, look at that. Perfectly flat too, man, I'm talking crushed it flat. Oh, that's going to make a nice little uh, welding surface. Crush that, no problem, man. That's a half inch pipe, done. All right, let's move up to three quarter and see what happens. I may have to screw this down a little bit. There we go. All right, just screw that down. Now let's uh, stick it in and see what happens. It helps if you close the valve, you idiot. Woo! Open the valve, done. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. I like that, man. Let's put the pressure on it and see what happens. No gap, baby. No gap. Check that out. That's going to be a awesome welding bead right there all right let me run this down real quick because i'm going to do the two inch pipe and see what happens one of these ends were kind of messed up already. i'm going to crush that in right there it's got a little bit of a flaw in it can't be having no pipe with a flaw in it 
Idiot, turn the valve back off. So here we go, boys. Let's try it. I got the pipe a little crooked. Let me see if I can straighten it up. That's my fault. All right, there we go. Oh, man. That is flat as flat gets right there. Man, that's a beautiful setup. The other cool thing about this is when you're building your, your truss, say you're building a truss for a, a, a cab on a deer stand, you can slide the pipe all the way through this thing, crunch it in the middle, crimp it in the middle, and then bend your pipe for the crest of your roof if that's the type of roof that you have. So that's what I'm building next week. So, oh man, I'm super excited, guys. This thing turned out even better than I thought. Um, the, the big thing here is... Uh, you can go to Harbor Freight, you can buy like floor jacks, uh, not floor jack, uh, floor press, um, you know, that you can you can do same basically type setup, but they're a little wider and all that. Some of them, you know, are, they, they take up shop space on your in your shop. And I didn't want that. I wanted something nice and compact that I can store away when I'm not using it. Well, I'm all done. She's all painted. Funny thing just happened. My wife came out. She looked at it. She goes, did you really need to camo that? And I looked at it, I was like, yeah, I did. So anyway, it's just me. I don't know, but it works great, guys. I'm, I'm really excited about it. Uh, it's very functional. It's perfect for what I need it to do. And I'm excited to build our uh, tower cab next week uh, using this new tool that we got. So it's going to make it go much quicker and easier. So I'm not going to give you any dimensions in this video uh, just because I don't know what bottle jack size you guys will uh, use. You may want to tone this down and go way down to, in a, just a pump jack. Uh, key here is to keep it narrow and then know what size pipes you're going to use here uh, to make your overall height of your platform. Other than that, it's real simple. If you need any help, please feel free to reach out. My email will be in the description. Uh, give me a shout and I'll try to help you out. And I uh, look forward to some more content coming out here uh, shortly. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Good luck with this upcoming hunting season. Take care, guys. God bless. <laughs>